So our viewers keep telling us, you guys don't upload enough. Because we typically only upload our good trips. And they say, I don't care. I want to see more videos. So here's one of those videos. Tournament day, kayaking, lake we've never been to, Florida strain, bluebird days. And this is what happens. I see bull. I cast at it. Not a large mouth, but at least I know what's in here. This is real bad when you're in a bass tournament and you keep catching these First guys. fish of the day. So, prime time is uh, passing by and I haven't caught anything yet. That sucks. Later I find out that Ooh. when I just hopped off, it's gonna matter a lot. Um, so, I'm throwing this little wake bait around. Nothing. And my gut is saying, why the heck are you not throwing a swim jig? That's what you do on hard days. Go throw a swim jig. So, finally, tie up a swim jig. And, it works. Okay? So, moral of the story is, trust your gut. That bitch knows what she talking about, okay? Why? Why don't I do this? Huh? Listen to your gut, guys. Listen to your gut. Mm, mm. Uh, idiot sometimes. Idiot. Uh, idiot sometimes. Idiot. Listen to your gut, guys. Always listen to your gut. Fifteen and a quarter. Swim jig. Here we go. First one of the day. Nice one, actually. So after the one bite, I struggled. Struggled a lot. Met a bunch of guys in the water. They're struggling too. So we're fishing Florida strain largemouths. And it's bright blue skies. There's hardly a chop on the water. And it's gonna be hard. I already knew it, knew predicted it coming in. I don't fish low. So what I do, I cover water. I cover a lot of water. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to make this run up the river because hopefully I'll find some green grass. So I get up here, I look around, and everything's dead, as you can see. But once in a while, you get these green patches. If I was the bass, i live in these green patches. So that's what I think. That's why I go in for the kill. 
But this happened. Yeah, second miss of the day. Sucks. Should've gotten three fish by now. I mean, I paddled like a mile and a half up the, up the lake. So far up, there ain't no kayakers in sight. There's no boats in sight. So, I was gambling hard. And the gamble did not pay off. Now, don't get me wrong. I flipped everything, everything for the next couple hours. And I don't get a single bite. I flip all this bug brush. I flip all the green. Everything. Had to resort to Cinco. And the Cinco pulls through. Sinkos now. Cinco, <sighs> Cinco fish. Oh, I forgot to mention, I had Hobie Mirage Drive problems. Pay attention to the right pedal. The pedal's missing. Yeah. So not only is a hard day, just had mechanical problems too. So now I'm hurting, so I'm just thinking, I got like three hours to go, I got two fish, everything looks like a target rich environment. I flip, I throw Cinco, and I throw it everywhere, I throw Ned Rigs, I throw everything else, and this place is dead. So I make a switch to the other side of the lake, even, I throw stuff. I throw good looking stuff and I still don't need it. Hot dang it, should have been bit by now. I mean, that was the perfect example. Uh, big lay down, middle of nowhere, isolated target, throw a Cinco on it. Yeah, granted I didn't throw it the whole thing, but Cinco's, everything around it gets bit. So, I don't know man, couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. So it's on to the next one. And I decide, I decide to skip a lot of good looking stuff because that's just ones on all the stumps today, man. They just, I just don't know what they were doing. All right, nice one, nice one for today. I'm gonna figure out what I need to do. Should have done it all day, but you know, sometimes you're a, you're a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen and a quarter, man. Eighteen and a quarter. All 
All right. The other thing about today was it was pretty dang hot. It was like 99 degrees, and the GoPro overheated. That's why I didn't catch the uh, the hook hook set on this fish. It was actually a pretty good battle. I battled it for about three four minutes on like uh, I think it's ten pound line, a little small swim bait that I throw. And uh, yeah, it overheated. Can't get the footage on that. Kind of sucks. Alright, cool. What you go, buddy? Tell me what you go. Big one of the day. Yep, well, that's all the bites I got. So, I missed two, I catch three. Error ratios is horrendous. 60% wind ratio, I guess you could say. Or hookup ratio, hookup to land ratio. Not cool, man. I'm usually typically in about 90% on that. And uh, the winner was 81 inches. If I've caught those two that got in the way, I would have been probably 70 inches. 70, 73. That would have been good enough for second place, in my opinion. But uh, since we didn't catch those, we sucked. And we're in sixth place out of 15 anglers. <sighs> that's one of those trips that uh, needs to be erased from the memory. But that's what you guys can see if you guys want to see. These are more bad trips. So anyways, if you watch this far, sub the channel. Give me a like. I appreciate everybody.